Bolton 02 West Brom, J. Rodriguez and Sam Field fire visitors up to third in championship. Bolton legend John McGinnell became the unwitting figurehead for fans' protests as thousands of Wanderers supporters voiced their anger at controversial owner Ken Anderson last night. But on the field the struggling Lancashire club slumped a step closer relegation thanks to goals in each half from Jay Rodriguez and Scott Field. Former Bolton favourite McGinnell was banned from the ground and his role as local radio pundit for the meeting with promotion chasing Albion after making critical comments about Anderson's reign in charge. Bolton, Anik, Taylor, Beavers, Hobbs, Olkowski, Ami Abi, O'Neill, Lowe, No One, Pritchard 82, Murphy, Buckley 68, Donaldson, McGinnis 68, Subs Not Used, Matthews, Wilson, Weeder, Connell Booked, Olkowski, Donaldson West Brom, Johnston, Holgate, Dawson, Hegazi, Gibbs, Barry, Harper, Adarabia EO 90, Brunt, Field 26, Robson Canyu, Sacco 85, Gale, Rodriguez subs not used, Bond, Bartley, Houlihan, Leco Booked, Barry, Holgate Goal, Rodriguez 19, Field 75 The pre-planned demo saw up to 3,000 Bolton fans gather outside the stadium an hour before kickoff, chanting McGinnell's name and demanding Anderson leaves their club. They also marched around the ground, joined by McGinnell himself, in a loud but peaceful protest against Anderson, who claims to be talking to two potential new buyers for the former Premier League club. Protesting fans with banners also congregated inside the ground and a handful threw tennis balls onto the field as the televised game was about to kick off, delaying the start by a few seconds. It was a night that had an air of simmering tension about it but Bolton fans were quickly focused on the field of play, rather than the boardroom, when Gary O'Neill glanced just wide from Craig Nolan's third-minute cross. Sadly for the long-suffering Bolton supporters, it did not take long for the division's leading scorers to click through their attacking gears. After seven minutes, informed White Gale set himself up for a chance with need control and a volley which whistled just past Ben Anik's far post. And, on 18 minutes, Darren Moore's side took a deserved lead after Jason Lowe had made a clumsy foul on Hal Robson 30 yards from goal. Chris Brunt curled in a far post free kick for Craig Dawson who out-jumped his marker and headed goalwards before teammate Rodriguez made certain the ball crossed the line by nodding in from under the crossbar. The frustrations continued for the section of the most vocal descending fans and, just before the half hour, a number of them were engaged in scuffles with club stewards as the anti-Anderson clamor grew and officials tried to remove banners. Again. The protests seemed to have a galvanizing effect on Wanderers, however, and within moments Jack Hobbs cross picked out Sammy Miyabi whose 16 yard shot had to be tipped over by Sam Johnston. And when the persistent Wanderers fans managed to unfurl a new banner on the upper deck of the stand, they at least had something to cheer about for the first time since the opening minutes. Bolton supporters nearly had something even more important to cheer about in the opening moments of the second half when Johnston again leaped into action, this time to palm away a low header from no one's corner. And a gutsy second half showing gave Phil Parkinson's side hope of an equaliser. Ahmed Hegazi might have settled West Brom nerves from a well-worked corner from first half subfield but his shot sailed harmlessly over. And on 75 minutes. First half goal scorer Rodriguez did precisely that with the pass that set up the decisive second goal. His ball was cleverly dummied by Gale, catching the Wanderers' defense flat footed in the process, and Field was in the clear to make a confident finish past the home keeper. It was a wildly popular goal among visiting Baggies fans as the 20 year old claimed just the second league goal of his hugely promising fledgling career.